People have no idea. This is this is going to be bigger than the car. I mean, obviously, we need to be careful that this doesn't become a dystopian situation. Like, I think one of the things that's going to be important is to have a localized ROM chip on the robot that cannot be updated uh, over the air. The dangers would be artificial general intelligence or digital super intelligence decouples from a, co a collective human will and goes in a direction that, for some reason, we don't like. It'll be so cheap to have goods and services, it'll be ridiculous. They're more optimistic than pessimistic, but they're not all optimistic. It's sort of like, uh, you know, if, if, if there's some ra radical technology prediction, uh, the, the, the point is not that it was a few years late, but that it happened at all. That's the more important part. In order to solve self-driving, you really needed to solve real-world AI. And at the point at which you solve real-world AI for a car, which is really a robot on four wheels, uh, you can then generalize that to a robot on legs as well. The, the two hard parts, I think, like it's not, it, it, obviously companies like Boston Dynamics have shown that it's possible to make uh, uh, quite compelling, sometimes alarming robots. Things that are uh, currently missing are enough intel intelligence for the robot to navigate the real world and do useful things um, without being uh, explicitly instructed. It, it, so so the, the missing things are basically real world uh, intelligence. People have no idea, this is, this is going to be bigger than the car. Well, I think the cost is actually not going to be uh, crazy high, like less than a car. Um, so I would expect that it's going to be less than a car, or at least equivalent to a cheap car. I wouldn't worry about the, the sort of putting people out of a job thing. Um, I think we're actually going to have, and, and already do have, a massive shortage of labor. This really will be a world of abundance. Any goods and services will be available to anyone who wants them. You know, AI and robotics will bring, bring out what might be termed the age of abundance. And, and that this is my prediction, will be an age of abundance for everyone. Thank you.